Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I want to tell you a little bit about the relationships between boiling points, freezing points, and, uh, and Raoult's law. So, um, I'm first just going to talk a little bit about pure substances, because Raoult's law has to do with uh, when, you, uh, when you put, a, say, a salt into a, into a liquid. But um, first, I'll just talk about uh, the phase diagram of, let's say, pure water. And uh, here we have the phase boundaries between solid, liquid, and gas. And uh, there's the triple point right there, which is a temperature of about 273 Kelvin. And uh, just focusing on the, uh, the part that's the equilibrium between liquid and gas, we can tell where the boiling temperature of a, of a liquid is by just looking to see where the vapor pressure, the equilibrium vapor pressure of a, of, a, of, a, of a body of water equals about atmospheric pressure, or I'll say one bar. Uh, when that happens, then uh, what we observe is that the, the, uh, the, the liquid begins to boil. This kind of explains something that you might have uh, noticed before, which is that if you try to boil water at a high altitude, the, uh, the pressure is lower, which means that that curve would drop a little bit, and now what that would mean is that the water would boil at a, at a, at a lower temperature. How about the freezing temperature? For the freezing temperature, it's useful to think about the equilibrium with the vapor. So uh, what we'll, we'll, we'll talk about uh, P star liquid vapor, that's that, that value there. What we say is that all along that curve is that the ambient vapor pressure equals the equilibrium liquid vapor pressure uh, given by the clausius clapeyron uh, equation. That's why it's in equilibrium. Um, if you want to have a visual, it means that the rate at which water molecules leave the liquid equal the rate at which water molecules come into the liquid uh, from the gas phase. So at equilibrium, those two quantities are equal. Uh, how about along the, uh, that part of the curve, the solid vapor curve? Well, it's the same kind of thing. We imagine that if I have ice uh, in equilibrium with its vapor, then the rate at which uh, molecules are uh, leaving the ice and going into the ice is the same. So um, what we would say is that P star of the solid vapor curve equals the ambient vapor pressure. Um, there's only one place where all, you know, both of those equalities can hold true. That is to say, if that's equal to that, and that's equal to that, then that must be equal to that, and that is the uh, triple point. So, this is um, the freezing temperature, uh, the normal freezing temperature of, of water. So, uh, 273 and, uh, and 373 here. So, the uh, last idea I just want to um, pitch at you is... What happens when we have uh, salt in the water? So I'm just going to put some salt water molecules uh, in that water. Well, Raoult's law tells us something, and it goes something like this. Uh, it says the, that the equilibrium vapor pressure of, of that liquid is actually um, it's equal to the mole fraction of water in here in the liquid times that same curve that we've been talking about. Okay. And the mole fraction of, of water in a salty solution is smaller than 1. So what we see is that the equilibrium vapor pressure of the water uh, is smaller than P star. And I can draw that on here. So I'm just going to take that very curve here and drop it down to there. Okay, so now what I've really drawn is the Raoult corrected P liquid vapor curve. Um, according to according to Raoult's law, uh, here as you can see, it's a lower value than than p star. So I dropped it down, and you can see right away there are two conclusions that you can draw from this. One is that now, uh, in order to reach ambient uh, vapor pressure when you're trying to boil salty water, you have to raise it to a higher temperature. So that's what we call uh, boiling point elevation. It's uh, you have to raise salty water to a higher temperature in order to, to see it boil. The other thing that happens is that now you can see that this condition of uh, the equilibrium between the liquid and the ambient pressure, vapor pressure, and the solid, that intersection now occurs at a lower temperature. So what we see here, if I can draw it, is a, a reduction in the freezing temperature, that is to say um, a freezing point um, depression. So both 
freezing point depression and boiling point elevation can be traced back to the same idea, which is Raoult's um, expression for the reduction in the equilibrium vapor pressure um, of, of over salty water. Okay.